As they have for centuries, seamen get an early start. But many of this crew are not sailors, and their ship is different from most that have sailed before. She is the United States naval ship Vanguard. Her cargo is telemetry equipment. Her destination, a rendezvous with America's first manned flight to the moon. Her job, to track the location and progress of the Apollo spaceship from a station in the Atlantic Ocean. Her sister ships, the Mercury and Redstone, will be stationed in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, filling in the gaps between land-based tracking stations. Antennas, telemetry, and instrumentation equipment aboard the ships will form part of a global system for tracking and control of the spacecraft. Control centers on the ships will keep constant watch over the physical condition of the astronauts. Air controller, air controller, this is MCC test conductor. Come in, please. Uh, Roger, MCC test conductor. This is air controller, over. Uh, Roger, is aircraft in position to start uh, round number one? Aircraft is in position, uh, document zero one, uh, 180 degrees true. Now commence step number one. Attention please, aircraft tracking test 2B50-6 will commence at 0800 and will be in progress for approximately three to six hours. All personnel man your stations. The RAD has will exist. Start ET clock, LDCP. General Dynamics produced the Apollo instrumentation ships, providing their instrumentation systems, antennas, testing systems, components, even the telephone equipment aboard. General Dynamics' main work is to develop such systems for defense and space exploration. Some of them, like the Apollo ships, are marine systems. Ships start as drawings made by marine design engineers. Their thousands of different parts and hundreds of subsystems are assembled only after planning, testing, and development. The better job you do now, the less trouble you're going to have later on, and the better the product will be. As design engineers, you people build the reliability, the dependability, the maintainability, and producibility all into the initial design. This reliability or dependability never gets any better than that which you design into the job. Every other act. A number of surface ships, oilers, ammunition ships, submarine tenders, and amphibious assault ships are under contract or development. This fast cargo transfer system is designed to pass missiles or other cargo between two moving ships at sea in less than 90 seconds. This machine can guide up to 12 acetylene torches at one time through steel plate sections. Controlled manually or programmed to follow scaled down templates in remote control booths with electronic eyes. A modern nuclear submarine is many things. A power plant and propulsion system. A launching pad for missiles a complex of electronic systems for defense, ship control, and fire control. A self-sufficient community providing more than 100 men in restricted space with housing, food, fresh air, recreation, medical services, and working quarters. General Dynamics has built more than 350 submarines in the last 60 years. Five research submersibles, like this Star II, have been launched. Three more are under development. One will be the first nuclear-powered research submersible. 
equipped with special lights, cameras, and manipulators, the submersibles have already proved their worth in exploring the ocean's depths. Ashira took photographs of an ancient ship that has been sitting on the floor of the Aegean Sea since Byzantine times. Star 3 has done research near the continental shelf and off Bermuda for the U.S. Navy's underwater sound laboratory. Aluminot, the first all-aluminum hulled submarine, has lifted manganese out of the ocean's floor. Other marine systems gather data below and above the surface. This buoy, built for the Office of Naval Research, can remain on station for up to a year without maintenance, relaying ocean and weather data to shore stations as much as 3,000 miles away. Another kind of buoy is designed to take the place of lightships. Some marine craft are as much at home on land as they are on water. The Skip-1 is a ground effect machine that flies smoothly at more than 50 miles per hour, only inches above the ground, on a cushion of air. Swing one, taxi and takeoff instructions, please. This is another General Dynamics test pilot. Swing one, thank you. Almost 10 years ago, he tested the supersonic F-102 interceptor. Later, he flew the still faster F-106. This is the newest the variable sweep wing F-111A tactical fighter. The F-111 takes off with its wings fully extended to provide maximum lift. In the air, the wings can be partially swept for economical long-range flight fully swept for supersonic flight, and extended again for landing. At high altitudes, the F-111 can fly at more than twice the speed of sound. It can fly faster than sound, close to the Earth to minimize detection by enemy radar defenses. For every test pilot, there are hundreds of jobs, less dramatic, but just as essential. Developing and building a complex system like the F-111 requires thousands of people. They make engineering drawings, solve equations, coordinate schedules, order supplies, assemble components, and the airplane itself. The task requires highly specialized equipment. This automatic drafting machine produces precise copies of engineering drawings of the F-111, or portions of them, in any scale. The drawings are copied by the machine and stored on tape, ready for use at a moment's notice. An electron microscope enables a metallurgist to develop better alloys for aircraft construction. The structure of this metal, magnified 4,100 times, has fractured under extreme stress. The microscope can study molecular structure in detail, magnified up to 200,000 times. This automatic milling machine is pre-programmed to make closure ribs for the wing of the F-111. A photocell reads the tape and transmits an impulse to the machine to produce exact copies of each rib. 
Another automatic milling machine can make as many as four wing spars simultaneously for the F-111. The machine follows instructions provided by impulses from pre-programmed tapes. Each reel of tape contains several different sets of instructions for the machine. Another application of variable geometry in aviation is the CL-84. Its tilt wing design gives the CL-84 the versatility of a helicopter and the speed of a conventional airplane. It can land and take off vertically, then fly at forward speeds of more than 300 miles per hour. Ten years ago, the Atlas was almost alone at Cape Canaveral. Its first test launches were as an intercontinental ballistic missile. But its second and even longer lasting role in the exploration of space began soon after. The Atlas carried the first American astronauts into Earth orbit in Project Mercury. The more I see, the more impressed I am, not with how much we know, but with how tremendous the areas are that are as yet unexplored. I feel we're on the brink of an area of expansion of knowledge about ourselves and our surroundings that is beyond description or comprehension at this time. Progress never stops. We're now on the verge of a new era, I feel. The Atlas launched an Agena upper stage to send back the first close-up pictures of the moon. With the General Dynamics Centaur, the advanced upper stage rocket that pioneered the use of liquid hydrogen as a space fuel, the Atlas launched the Surveyor spacecraft that sent back pictures from the surface of the moon. In space, everything, including man, must function in zero gravity. The research problem is complicated because it is extremely difficult to produce a true weightless environment on Earth. Parabolic flights in a jet aircraft provide less than a minute of test time per maneuver. Underwater techniques, in some respects, simulate weightlessness. The free space simulator approximates the difficulties encountered in doing useful work in zero gravity. In space, it is virtually impossible to apply a twisting, pushing, or pulling force without something to hang on to. Designs must reflect understanding of these problems and provide for them. Flights of long duration, perhaps to Venus or Mars, pose even bigger questions. How to keep men alive and comfortable in space for up to a year? General Dynamics built this life support facility to answer such questions. It is designed to provide the basic physiological requirements for four men in a zero gravity environment for a full year with minimal resupply every three months. Electronics research using the light from a laser is conducted on this vibration isolated granite slab. Now we can take a signal from the wires coming from a sonar set or a radar set or a two-dimensional pattern such as a fingerprint. When we put our pattern in this plane, the light as it passes through this lens forms what the mathematicians call a Fourier transform of the pattern right here behind this little tiny one. Now that Fourier transform appears as this little bright spot right here. And as we put in a, a different pattern... Optical systems using laser light make it possible to analyze radio, radar, or sonar signals and to detect such signals in the presence of obscuring noise in less time than the fastest digital computers. In this 400,000 gallon tank, sensitive electronic sound devices are developed for systems to detect enemy submarines and other vessels. 
engineers direct sound waves at scale-down hull configurations and study the echo characteristics. Airborne radar devices are tested in this microwave darkroom. The room reduces reflections that affect the accuracy of tests. Here, a terrain-following radar unit is tested. Microelectronic circuits are required in exacting military and space applications because of their great reliability, low power consumption, and reduced size. Many electronic parts have been replaced by thin film components in navigational and communication systems. First caller three, this is overtake two. Armored infantry has me pinned down. Can you assist? Overtake two, this is first caller three. Roger, will assist. Red Ball 1, this is Horse Collar 3. I have a column of armor and infantry. A Single sideband radio a systems allow operators alone in the field and at jeep-mounted mobile stations in forward battle areas to relay information to tactical aircraft or ground forces with a minimum chance of enemy interception. Roger, going to 248.9. Contact Lavender 1, Niner. Other tactical weapons and support equipment produced by the corporation include the first effective defense for the foot soldier against low-flying enemy aircraft. The red-eye missile homes on the engine heat of an attacking enemy aircraft. The soldier fires red-eye from his shoulder, much like a World War II bazooka. The standard missile is a supersonic weapon system designed to protect ships against air attack, but with the added capability of surface-to-surface -surface launch against enemy vessels. A general dynamics high temperature gas-cooled nuclear reactor is installed at this electric generating plant at Peach Bottom, Pennsylvania. Triga reactors for research and testing are in use on five continents. In the Congo, a Triga reactor aids medical research into bone development and disease. In Korea, a Triga reactor is a tool in the study of plant growth. In the United States, Triga reactors help analyze chemicals, provide isotopes for medical research, and help determine the effects of radiation on electronic systems and components. More than 4,000 communities are served by telephone equipment produced by General Dynamics. This is a cross-point module. This is an important product of our research and development programs. And this module will be a component, one of the basic components in our electronic switching program. You see here a cross-point module which is plugged in. The module consists of 20 cross-points in a uh, sub-assembly like you see it. It has a bare wire multiple in this direction and a printed wire multiple in this direction. Flexible switching systems update already existing equipment without expensive modification. Telephone receivers include one that can interrogate a computer and receive verbal answers through the telephone receiver. Telecommunication products under development include a cordless telephone that can be carried anywhere in the home or into the backyard. Other research shows that by reducing the transmitted or waveband width of normal speech by one half, enough room remains on the transmission pathway for additional information to be sent at the same time through existing communication systems. The compressed information is instantly unscrambled at its destination. Intelligibility is high in both coded speech. These gearless motors drive elevators in office and apartment buildings. At the convention hall in Atlantic City, large alternating current motors provide power for the air conditioning units that cool the auditorium's seven acres. The 
corporation mines bituminous coal at a number of different locations. This is the Orient Number no. 5 mine in Illinois. Uh, under this crew up here is a foreman in charge of uh, 60. Uh, uh, some, something around seven or eight men uh, as what we call a production unit. The operator of that machine he can tell by sound on whether it's loose or not. That's where he's fitting his judgment against the environment. There's about three systems of mining, but this area was developed by what we call conventional equipment, which is a cycling system of mining. By itself, air conditioning is not enough to free the air in newspaper printing plants of the ink mist generated by high-speed presses. Dynapure motors clean the air with a centrifugal pumping action and condense the ink in bottles. This automatic control system grew out of the design of electro-hydraulic systems for nuclear submarines. A hot strip steel mill uses the system to assure continuous accuracy in the thickness of steel sheets. The equipment controls the steel's thickness within three one thousandths of an inch. General Dynamics magniform machines form electrically conductive metals almost instantly through magnetic pulsing. The process eliminates slower techniques such as brazing and welding without mechanically touching the workpiece. Magniform is used in several applications in the automobile industry, including production of front wheel drive axle assemblies. More than 90,000 persons work at General Dynamics. They work in company facilities thousands of miles apart. Fort Worth, Texas, where the F-111 is being made. Montreal, Canada, where Canadair Limited makes aircraft and tactical weaponry. Pomona, California, where tactical missiles are produced. Groton, Connecticut, where the Electric Boat Division produces nuclear submarines. Quincy, Massachusetts, where surface ships are built. And they work at thousands of job specialties. Some are miners in the Illinois mines of Freeman Coal. Telephone assemblers at Stromberg Carlson in Rochester, New York. Life support researchers at the Convair Division in San Diego, California. Assemblers at the Electrodynamic Division in Avenel, New Jersey. Physicists in the General Atomic Division in San Diego. Engineers at the Electronics Division in Rochester. Wherever they work, and whatever their jobs, they bring special competence to the application of advanced technology. <laughs> 